Show of hands, how many of you know people that work for a multi-million dollar corporation? Anybody? I said, did you know that you all know somebody that works for a multi-million dollar corporation? In this room sits three employees of such a business. Can I get the other two to stand? <laughs> As you all well know, me, Cameron, and Ryan, we all play for the Maryland football team. We work for a business that uses their bottom level employees, student athletes, to gain profit and, I guess, exploit us in their financial gains to earn money. This company is known as the NCAA or the National Collegiate Athletic Association. They deal with all matters when it comes to collegiate sports, anything you can think of, football, swimming, basketball, water polo, and how they financially manage their money. Um, today I'm here to share light on how this business exploits their athletes and their other employees. Uh, being a college athlete is not all this cracked up to be in today I reveal why. Our life is pretty much difficult as is. Every Saturday, hundreds of college football players lay their bodies on the line to play a sport that they love. They go out, they play passionate football, they put their all into it because they practice so hard. Um, but if we take a critical look at what goes on, we will actually figure out that the NCAA uses their athletes to gain monetary funds, I guess. The players provide labels that produce winning teams, and in turn, they produce a bigger fan base, which gives, which brings in money to the colleges through the use of the sales of tickets, merchandise, and other paraphernalia. The players, uh, the football stadiums are filled to capacity, translating to federal budgets for athletic powers. The revenue sold from the merchandise can help the school, but at the same time, they overlook the hard work that these players put in. We work over 80 hours a week. That's including school, football, meetings, practice, and other things, which doesn't really give us much time to be ourselves. Um, the more these with winning schools come, like, like I said, a bigger fan base and allows the schools to gain publicity, which attracts more people and may attract more students to their school, which brings them more money. These the Department of Athletics pretty much, in my opinion, uses us to gain this money and doesn't, I guess, reimburse us. You know, like to say, scholarship is a term that's thrown around, which includes books, tuition, fees, but they really don't cover like miscellaneous money that we may need to, I guess, successfully live. Um, for the fans who do not have the privilege to watch their favorite teams in person, the media allowed, has allowed them to see, I guess, what we, I'm sorry. For the fans that do not have the privilege to watch their favorite teams in person, the media has allowed the games to be broadcasted in various ways to gain ratings. They use the television, internet, and nowadays, because of advanced technology, you can use cell phones that the, team, the games can be broadcasted directly to them. Um, college football is one of the most broadcast sports in all of America. Because of the attention that these games received, the NCAA, along with television affiliates such as CBS and Fox Sports, have teamed up to generate revenue. They use our names and images to gain money through the use of commercials, video games, jerseys. Like, I actually had a presentation prepared to show you all, but I'm unable to have it now. But According to the 2007-2008 budget of revenues reported by the NCAA, television and marketing rights fees came up to $548 million, 200. Oh, championship revenues came up to $54 million, and investment fees was $9 million, and membership dues were over a million dollars. Of all of this is a combined $600 million a year in revenue, and we see none of this. Uh, because of the strict laws and the NCAA has set, they have made it for legals for collegiate athletes to be paged due to their amateur status. And the popular NCAA game, NCAA college football, they use our images but not our names to, I guess, replicate college football teams so that fans can be able to play as their favorite teams. Because they don't use names, 
we don't get paid, so we don't make anything. Um, the media exploits these athletes. Due to the strict bylaws in NCAA, the names aren't able to be used because they can be filed for lawsuit. Um, in conclusion, NCAA exploits college athletes. They make profit from their hard work, their revenue, their name, and their images. And there <coughs> should be some type of reparation to these college football players. So we work harder than most people, so I feel like there should be some type of compensation for that. Thank you.